Let's talk about money and payments, and this all still with Lifter LMS free. What you see here is me coming to this site of Heather Scott as a visitor. Here are my online courses, and I can go to my student area just to give you an overview of currently what I have within my dashboard. These are three courses I have signed up for, and by going through these courses, I've gotten these achievements. You can see the progress. This one has been completed, this one too, and this one is over there. What is that? Less than 20%. I've also gotten a certificate for one of these courses that I've completed, which I can download and print, and I can use it as a proof of completion. Now I decide I want to go and sign up for another course. So I go to the courses, and I look at this one, 2020 with a bang, scroll down and it says 99 Rand. Yeah, well, in your case, it will be USD or Euro or whatever you're using. South Africa, we use Rand. And I'm like, okay, this one is not free. Enroll today, click on that. And here, all my details that I had given earlier. And then it says over here, payment details, bank transfer, Payment instructions will be mailed to you. When I click on buy now, it goes through the process. And that's it. So it says payment instructions, pending payment, status pending payment, access plan, a different you. And it also says up here, a payment is due. How do I pay for this? One, it says here under payment instructions, you'll receive an email shortly with our banking details. Once payment has been processed, Send us proof of deposit via the mail. Let's see how you do that in Lifter LMS. Let's have a look at all the courses that we've got currently here. We've got these five, and currently if I click on Find a New You, you will see that this is a free course. Let's change it and let's charge something for this course. Go into WordPress dashboard and we go into our courses over here, courses, click on courses, find a new you, and scroll to the bottom. Long, long ago, when we were looking at the 25 steps on how to set up Lifter LMS, we had created an access plan. The access plan allows customers to sign up for your course. And we had created a free access plan. That's why people can sign up for free. We called that access plan a different you promo. And that's where you will find this. To access the settings for this one, click here on the drop down and you will see this little box appears here. This is where we had given this plan a title. We had given the submit button some text and we said it's visible to everyone. And over here, we had clicked no payment required under is free. This time, of course, we want money. So we're going to say, nope, is not free. And with that, we open an area over here. It cannot be free if you add zero there. So we have to add a number there. In this case, I'm going to say 1,200. Remember, I'm working in Rand. So that's uh, almost less than 100 US dollars. We put the frequency on a one-time payment. Under this, you also have other options. These are very good for memberships, but we're not working with memberships now. We're just going to stick to this one-time payment. Access expiration. So do you lose access to this course after a while? You would think that, no, I should have access to this course for all time, right? But actually, I've enrolled for a number of courses online, especially if you go to Vimeo courses, where they only give you like three months or six months. You have to use that course during that time. It's a matter of if you don't use it, you lose it. So you can set that over here. You can set specific date or after how many months or years, or you can say lifetime access. What's often a good idea is to put it on expires after and put it on a year in the future that you think this course won't be practical anymore. I would say in three years in the future, absolutely not. For now, let's put it on lifetime access. And the rest, you can just leave like it is. Changes we can make in the future. Save. 
and this will update our plan now for us. Close this and you can click on preview to see how this course will display on the front end now. Here it says 1200 Rand, enroll today and then we will go through the sign up process again over here. Let's close this out because there are a few other things you have to do. The first thing you have to do is go into your manual gateway, your manual payment gateway. Go to the navigation sidebar on the left for Lifter LMS and select settings. Go to checkout. Scroll to the bottom where you see gateway for payment gateways. Manual. If it is enabled like I had done in the initial setup with the wizard, you will see this check mark. If it's not, you need to go in here. Either way, we're going in here. Click on manual. Up here, you're going to enable or disable it. And then over here, you're going to make a few changes. Everything you see here, I've entered. The title is bank transfer. Description, payment instructions will be mailed to you. And then here, payment instructions, that final screen we had seen will appear over here. Let's change this a little bit. So under bank transfer, we can say money, money deposit, description, payment via EFT, electronic fund transfer, and then payment instructions will be in touch shortly with instructions. This is important that you set this up here so that you can customize that checkout screen at the end to your liking. Save changes. Remember this step. Third step, and that is to go over to notifications. You will see under notifications, there's a notification set up for gateway manual payment due. This is the notification that will display the moment the student tries to enroll for this course. The basic one is the one that will appear here in the top right hand corner and the email is the one that will be sent to them. If you click on email, here you can set up all the information, like here I've set up the bank details. And then at the bottom, make sure who gets this email. You want to make sure that the student gets it. That email will look like this. I go into my Outlook and this is the email that was sent to me at the beginning. Hello, JB Pellissier, a payment for your subscription to 2020 with a bank is due. Remember the one we did at the beginning. Here is the banking details. Once payment has been completed, send a copy of transfer slip to this email. So they will reply to this one or fax to this number. And there is everything. There's the course, there is the plan, and there's the amount. What is expected of you as a student is to go and make this transfer, get that transfer proof, and send it to Heather Scott. Everything will be wonderful again. What happens on the end of Heather Scott? Let's go back here. Save our changes. And I highly recommend you also go and do this. So three steps so far. First, you have to set up your course as a manual offline payment. Second, go to checkout and set up everything as it will display while the student is making the checkout. And three, set up notifications for gateway manual payment due, email, put all the instructions for them in there. Additionally, you can go to engagements and you can create a new email reminding them to pay in case they haven't paid yet. Let's create, add a new email, payment due reminder. Add the text here, remember to pay, and I'll put in everything else there. And you add here, reminder, and I'm just adding this text here. Publish it. Then go to engagements. Add engagement. Select the triggering event. And you can choose enrolls in a course, purchases a course, or purchases an access plan. All of these. Let's say I'm going to say purchases a course. Then I'll select the course, which in this case, the one we are setting up will be find a new you. I will say send an email under engagement type. I will choose this one payment due reminder, and I will put the engagement delay on two days. 
which means after this person got this reminder two days later, they will get a notification, hey, remember to pay. If you have already paid, please ignore this message. You have seen those before. This is very typical. And then you can click here on publish. And that's how that engagement will trigger two days after this person had tried to enroll for this course. Let's jump back into this part where I am enrolled as a student. I've now signed up for those courses. If I go again to online courses and I find a new you, you're going to see it says 1,200 Rand enrolled today. And it's the same thing. Look over here and I'll make the screen a little bit bigger. The changes, the changes we have made. Now it says payment via EFT and money deposit. These are the changes that I've made to the manual gateway payment. If I click on buy now, under payment instructions, and there's the basic notification, you will see payment instructions and we'll be in touch shortly with instructions. These are all those changes that I've made. Now I'm signed in. How will the process work from here? So the student is going to get this money notice that they have to pay. They're going to make payment and then they are going to send you proof of payment. But how are you then going to activate their membership? Because they are still not enrolled. They are pending, pending payment. Go into your dashboard. Go to orders and click on orders. And you will notice here, completed, completed, completed. These are the four free enrollments we've done previously for these courses. And you can see these are the guys that have enrolled, mainly me, and then me again over here. And then here are the two courses. The one I had signed up with at the beginning of this tutorial and the one I had just enrolled in. And it says pending payment. What happens next is when Heather gets the email from me saying I've paid, she will come in here. And what she will do is she will go to this one and click on edit, order information, select and say completed, update order. And now if we select orders again, you will see it's green. Same for this one. Go into edit, update order status, complete it, and update order. For me, who's logged into my website dashboard, if I go now to my courses and I click here, I will have access to all five of these. Course enrollment success, course enrollment success. And that's how you set it up. A quick word on payment. In the next video, we are going to look at how you can make your course still free by issuing a voucher. And I will explain to you why it's better sometimes to do that instead of making courses completely free. It's connected to a concept called anchoring that helps people to give a better value to your course instead of them just thinking it's free. So make sure that you check out the next tutorial in our series on Lifter LMS Free, all about vouchers. Stay safe, go well. This is JP signing off.